Morning. Why do we always start these things so early? Am I slightly late? You betcha I am. The horrendously early start of like 3.30 in the morning was incredibly painful, but I'm heading off to John's now. We're heading to the airport together and let's go say hello. Morning. Sorry, you're in trouble. In the vlog, I'm gonna get some of you farting. Say turmeric, John. Turmeric? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Where's that again? 3300 down here? Well, this will get me going. What's this, your turmeric shot or whatever? No, you ginger. A bit aggressive. 525 oh. in the morning. Why are we here so early? We're not, we're here just plenty of time. Two hours before our flight. A dream. Aren't you relaxed? De Tired. My allergies hurt. My head hurt. We're golden. Thank you. This is why we're here so early. Get anything pulled over. That's a first. And John in the Bahama breeze. Interesting choice. Oh, yeah, you are. Watching me do the beer. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. I would vlog the food, but I forgot. Cheers. Turmeric. Is that better? That was actually good. <laughs> I'm ready. Ready to fly. Thank you. Starbucks, John. Makes you addicted. It's ruining the country, I think, with the words. Yeah, it is. Such, you, such an American. To get a coffee that has probably like more sugar in it than. I'd like to go sit in that queue. You know oh, that vibes. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. We've landed. We now have how long? 40 minutes. John's got a cold. Yeah. Always sick. Thank you. We're gonna meet Jamie and we'll grab the high car. And hopefully, well, they don't know this yet, but I want to get in and out. Oh. It's been way too long of a day with way too long sleep. You know what time it is? It hits the spot. I wish. When you said truck, I had slightly different things in mind. This is not really a truck. You keep saying you want to buy the Ford Ranger. This is literally... Yeah, I can't do it. Huh? I wouldn't be able to do it. This is bigger than a Ford Ranger. No, it's smaller. Wheels, I think, are the highlight of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! I got in this thing. How's Miss Canada? Good. In and out? Yes. There's three versus one. In and out. Hold on, let me just do this, please. Well, you can just take your sunglasses off. <laughs> In and out. My favorite place. Thank you. Yeah. All right, that is practice done. Got through the 39 just. I made some gates, which was nice. Always the biggest nervous thing when you're getting towards tournament season. Pretty solid. Got my 35 on the screen, which felt pretty good. Obviously using the different ropes with the master lines, which is a little bit of a difference. A little bit bungee compared to when I trained with the HOs. So getting used to that, feeling good and ready to go to the Airbnb now. Let's see what Jamie has booked. Look at this place. Should it go? Look at this, this is the salad of Mr. Will. We've got my carbonara. Jamie did absolutely nothing. John alike. <laughs> I did it all, buddy. Let's do it. Happy meal. Yes. Probably haven't even been uh, at the house with Jamie yeah. for like. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 There's no way. Oh! You and it's got that certain channel. Oh. <laughs> I went in my eye. Good morning. <laughs> Hell yeah! So did Maple Stirp actually start in Canada? Mm -hmm. oh Exploring. Exploring. Got well out the house. So like always, on the day off, we decided to try go for a trip out. On Marcus Brown's recommendation, we went to find some walking trails, and even though the drive was very, very pretty, it became a little bit trickier than we thought. So what's happening? I don't know. What's happening, Jamie? We don't know. It's hot. And it seems like the water's dried up, so. So Marcus's recommendation, even though it was meant to be beautiful, it was way too hot outside and it seemed like the river and waterfall had dried up. So we decided to scrap that, start some new plans and look for another lake. That lake also turned out to be private, so we ended up going to a public park. A pretty little place where we knew we could get a swim to get out of the heat and apparently meet some new friends. Look at this guy. Squirrel hunter. Whoa! Oh, did you just see that? Did it bite you? He opened his mouth to bite me. Whoa, you scared yourself. Oh, I missed oh, it. I missed oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. 
He just took it. See, he's happy. He's like, oh yeah. Nice. Toasty. Perfect. Oh. Ah, this is unnecessary. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, holy Hot potato with this thing, okay? <laughs> All right, this is Will's great idea of an activity. That's how deep it is. Go on, Will. <laughs> Stand up. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. Makes a bit of a back slap. <laughs> how would you rate that swim compared to Italy? <laughs> Not quite as adventurous. <laughs> Not quite got I the would, same uh, pizzazz. Look at the boys so happy with their ice cream. How was your ice cream? That was way too much. That's what happens when you get the extra large cup. Worth it. Good morning! We are out here at one of the most beautiful lakes in the world. No one quite does lake building like California. All man-made, just can't be better. Big trees, super protected. Girls have just finished. Jamie coming in clutch with a 5 at 39. She's not too happy, but it takes the pressure off her in round two to feel some stuff out. Ali going out there with a 2.5 at 39, and that obviously puts Jamie in tied second, and Ali in fifth place, I believe, right now. So big scores from the girls. Any round one thoughts? Do better next time. That's it. Do better. She's gone. She's back. <laughs> I'm gonna be more aggressive. Look at you, girl. She said some more words. Men are up now. Nick Parsons going out there, putting some major score up. Two and a half at 41. First off the dock. Shows us how the lake's skiing. Puts some pressure on, and let's go enjoy it and have some fun. All right, I'm gonna level with you. I'm nervous as hell. There's like five threes out. I think I'm seventh from the end, so scores are, scores are big. I'm excited. I'm always pretty nervous, but conditions are perfect, and let's go do it. Well, that is highly annoying. Then then felt about as good as I've ran in a very, very long time. Obviously coming off San Gervasio, where I missed all three of them, I was a little nervous. Did a little rankings tournament back home where I missed a gate. So it's just a few thoughts going through my head. So getting through that 39 was good. 41, just narrow. You can see on the video, pulled up super, super narrow to one ball, didn't get the best gate. And then squeak round two and just had to had to lay it down. I knew I had to get to three, so I ended up over ten at a touch. But it is what it is. We're in, I think, like fourth last. Scores are insane. I think there's about ten people with three at 41. So pressure's on. Got to get a three, if not more than that, to make the final. So we shall see later on. But now apparently the tacos are some of the most insane ever. So I'm gonna get me some of those. Hey, can I get three of the burial tacos, please? And this is what I love about California. Steve Grubbs coming in clutch with the Dutch Bros. Just the best. Gonna give me some power for next time. Oh, yeah, yeah, look yeah, at yeah, that. Yeah. It's the most oh, it's California awesome. moment. You got it on it. With the when man. In when in California, you gotta act like one. All right, we are up with round two. Two people till me. No big scores have gone down yet, but probably gonna come a little later on. Conditions beautiful. Wind's a little up and down. This gate down here catches you out. The wind looks flat and it gets a little gust every now and then. So confident on that gate. And that's about the only thought, really. Just go out, have some fun, and see what we can do. Oh, well, this is the first time, I guess, Malibu Open kind of last year, that I've traveled a long way, got on a flight, and missed the final. It sucks, it's not something I want to do again, but I felt good. 39 was a heavy one, but realistically, it was a pass that I felt in control of. Maybe didn't look it, but just, I don't know, just blew the fin at one ball. Not something I do very often. That's the second time ever I've blown the fin on that ski since since what April. Pretty, pretty so just gonna try hopefully forget it. That's my weekend done. But let's see how the rest of the guys do. We're gonna have a few of them in the final by the looks of it. So let's see what they can do. There's still round two to go and then finals tomorrow. It's late dinner here, which is always a lot of fun. Three at 41, round one. What do we think of round two? Can I do the same thing? All year it's been geeks in my mind. And it kind of felt good. I just kind of didn't really think much. Yeah. I was trying to feel something. I just felt it and it felt good. So I just kept trying to feel that same thing. And I just like to kind of feel that again. Dane has a four. It's puts two of the current threes out. So it's gonna need to go down to backups, obviously. But John's realistically probably gonna be safe with a three. He may even be safe with a two. We shall find out as time goes on. But fingers crossed for John. Obviously, Will will be in with a four, unless something really magical happens. Some cold ice cream. I'm excited. Mine's misery ice cream. Hers is happy ice cream. So. Good news is I remember ice when you missed the finals good. back in when I was about 20 years old, it would be like Billy, Susie, myself. Yeah. Yeah. 
We're not going to ice Cold cream. Stone, bro. We're going yeah. straight to the bar. Millennial. Times have changed. Ice cream's where it's at. The mecca of ice cream. Just the best. <laughs> After some amazing ice cream with the crew, we had to head back to the lake and go through our pairings for the head-to-heads tomorrow. First up, Jamie versus Karen Trulove. Next up, a tough first round for Ali against Whitney McClintock. Then in the men's solo syndicate skier, Will is up against Joel Howley. Then for us non-final goers, there were some ladies leading us all astray with some questionable jello shots. Oh. Oh, we're going for the strong one together. Oh, it's thick. We suck together, cheers. Three, two, one. Oh. How do you swallow it? My fiance it? loves tequila, so I have tequila all the time. A good amount. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Come on. Disappointed. Welcome to day two. Unfortunately, I'm not skiing today. Obviously, however, we have three of the team going out there. We have Will, Jamie, and Ali. It is gonna be a good day, and I'm very excited. So up first in the head-to-heads is Jamie Bull against Karen Trulove. By being the highest seed, Jamie got to pick whether she went first or second, and that first place given her the extra half a boy advantage, meaning that Karen had to beat her. She ends up absolutely smoking a 39 off to Karen's two at 39, so she gets to go at 41, nice and relaxed, and see what she can do. She did, however, take quite a big Pull, and we'll see what she thinks about that. Oh. I'm still left to hold on to that. Hiding the pain well. However, next up we have Whitney McClintock. She, as the highest seed, got to pick to go first, and she had the opportunity to put some pressure on. However, she did not manage to, taking a little bit of a stack into that first wake and leaving the gate slightly open for Ali Nicholson. Here she comes, 39 off, gets an absolutely beautiful one, gets the dream two ball, rounds three, stops up, and calls it a day. So, after some awesome skip from the girls, that puts Jamie and Ali against each other in the semis. Against a teammate again. Again. Yeah, we're really good at that. What do you thought? It felt pretty good. This morning was uh, fun. Gates felt a little bit better. It's something I can improve a little bit, maybe try to get a little wider. But overall, I think that the start there at 39 was a lot better than yesterday, so hopefully I can put a little pressure on Jamie this time. Well, she's gonna put the pressure on first, but hopefully I can live up to it. That's what we like to <laughs> do. Good luck. Enjoy Thanks. it. Go get it, girl. Thank y'all. All right, here's First Jamie coming 40. in. 39. Let's see what she can do. A little slow. She's got a good one. one. Over to two. Good a two. She's going to want to put some pressure on Ali. She's going to need a good she turn. She gets it. Let's put some pressure on Ali. Let's see what she can do. Right, Ali's going to need to run this and make her chance into the final. Let's see what she can do. Gets a big one. Good to a little stood up. She's a little late. Oh, I don't know. She's going to have to fight. That is three boys for Ali. So Jamie is in the final. Great skin from the girls there. But the final is going to be Jamie versus Regina. We just got to break. stop doing this. <laughs> we need to meet around later. Yeah, we're, we're done with this whole kicking each other out. Thing. With Jamie solidifying her spot in the final, next up was Will in his first quarter final against Joel Howley. A little bit of an unknown coming into this event. The last event that he did was this event last year. Coming into the finals with a pair of threes means he's going to be a tough contender. Will, however, has the higher seeding, so he gets to put the score out and see if Joel can follow. Let's see what he can do. All right, Will coming in 41. Got to put some pressure on Joel. Let's see what he can do. Joel coming in, needs a full two to make his way into the quarterfinals. He gets the one, he gets the two. What's the taco review? Really good. <laughs> How are we feeling? Thoughts on the world? I can feel the sun like hitting this and reflecting onto me while I'm in the shade. Anything water ski related? Just, just vibing with the heat. Just vibing with All right, we have Jamie coming in. Let's see what she can do. 39 off. Oh, narrow at two ball. Come on, keep on moving. She keeps it. She's gonna need to get through this. Regina's up next. She's good out of four. Come on, keep moving. Keep go, 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 go. Oh, she's gonna be inside it. Five at 39 for Jamie. All right, Regina is gonna need to get the full six. She hasn't missed one in a while. Let's see what she does here. A little bit on the tail on one, but she's okay. Good too. She's in this. She's early into four. And gets the five. Regina is your winner. Jamie finishes in second. 
Uh. <laughs> are you gonna ask me a question? Or are you no, I just want to hear the vibes. You know, how are we feeling? I know it's still a little annoying, but. We have some mixed emotions. Definitely happy with the second place. It's been a bit of a struggle for a little while. It's a big field and I haven't been skiing that well or feeling that great on the water. So to be able to run five every round, except for when I ran one and a half for 41, definitely like need to be happy about that. But at the same time, it's kind of hard to get excited when the feeling's not there. So mixed emotions, happy to walk away with a second after being on the struggle bus, but still feel like things aren't really there. So no, there's a lot of room for things to feel better. Then we get back to work. I cannot wait for Yosemite. She talked. How good was that? She can chat. The one of the cool bits of this event is they have the jump here as well. So let's see. Joel went 235 yesterday. Freddie 237. That's 70 meters. There was three jumps over 230 feet, which is insane. Finals today. Let's just do a quick little jump expedition. So that is all she wrote for the California Prime 2023. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Some awesome skiing from the team. Unfortunately, not what I wanted to do, obviously, but that is all she wrote. I hope you enjoyed this episode. A little more travel than usual, but just trying out some new formats. Please let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one at the Malibu Open.